been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it. Now I will show you some issue if we will delete our data entry, particularly in dealing with min form and our sub form. Now I will show you the data source for this min form is the receive order. So this is our min form data which is transaction 1, 2, 3, 4. And our subform also here. So this is related number 1. This is related for this transaction. And also number 2, this is the related also for the transaction number 2 and the rest. Again, this is for our subform data data source and this are mean form. Now the issue is let's see I will delete this one transaction again this is our transaction number four this one if I delete this one it's better number one okay this is number one and this sub for number one also. Okay, now if I view this one and delete this transaction, look, automatically delete and also here it's deleted. In main form also, our transaction number one is deleted. But there is an issue here in our subform. Even though we deleted our main form data, but our subform here still there is a data which is related for that transaction. So if we will generate the report, this will give you a wrong report because we you have transaction which deleted but still reside in that subform table okay i will delete also this one now i will show you how to manage or to get rid get rid that issue okay now i will use or i will put code based on this transaction form which is our data source is our main form this one so this is the normal uh, continuous form okay now i will manage that issue by clicking this delete button Okay. First, we will declare dim l n g i d as long. So this is we'll use for our id in the main form. Then the next one is dim L in G I D one as long, so we will use this one for our subform. Then I will go to our data source. This was the main form. So this is receive number, which is related also into our subform. This is receive number also. Here, I will use this one LNG ID equal our primary key, which is receive number, 
cat value. So whatever the value for our main form. I will copy this one. Then I will put one because here we declare LNG ID one and also the same number. Then we will execute the delete using our SQL. Okay. Okay. Do cmd dot run SQL. Then we'll use the delete query. De delete then next is from so from our min form this is our data source receive order from table receive order where receive receive number equal then we will concatenate with our id declared which is l n g id so this is for our min form We'll copy then our data source for subform receive details here then I will put one then me that require again this code will delete whatever the receive number or transaction here and whatever also the related transaction number for this min form and subform okay now we'll try I will close so this one is receiving again as you can see here we have two three four transaction one two three so we have three transaction left and here our subform also there is a three subform data for each transaction okay now we'll try to delete here we'll click delete now it's deleted as you can see here, our transaction form number 4 is deleted and also that particular subform data which is related for that transaction. Again, we'll delete. Look, number 3 is deleted and subform also deleted. Now, this is related for this one. Again, we'll delete this one. Whatever the data which is related for min form and sub form will automatically delete it. So, this is it. Thank you and God bless. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen.